Hi, and welcome back to Johnny Benny Campus News. I'm Denisha Demerit. And I'm Michael Pineda. Thank you for joining us. Welcome back to campus, Bennies and Johnnies. We hope you all had a restful and enjoyable winter break and that you are ready to start the new semester. First up this week, St. John's Outdoor U is hosting a Langloff Nordic Ski Race this Sunday, January 20th. The race features a uniquely beautiful and challenging course throughout the hills and forests of the Abbey Arboretum. Participants can register online on the Outdoor U website. Next week is MLK Week, sponsored by Intercultural and International Student Services. Monday, January 21st is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Class periods will be shortened to 40 minutes in observance. At 3.30 p.m. in the BAC, there will be a campus-wide MLK Day event featuring Reverend Dr. Tracy West. Dr. West presents Hate Harms, Remembering Why We Remember the Civil Rights Movement. For a complete schedule of the day, please visit the Registrar's website. Events surrounding Martin Luther King Jr. Day and the Civil Rights Movement will be held throughout the week. Events will include a teach-in on Wednesday, January 23rd from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. For a full list of events, please visit the IISS website. On Wednesday, January 23rd, the Eugene J. McCarthy Center presents South Sudan's Untold Story. This discussion about foreign policy features new author and alum Zach Verdon. Verdon will discuss with attendees his book chronicling the rise and the fall of South Sudan. This event will take place at 5 p.m. in Quad 170. If you are looking for something fun to do this weekend, look no more. This Friday, JEC is hosting a casino night in Alum Hall at CSB at 9 p.m. Bring your friends to the on-campus casino for a chance to win prizes such as a $100 Amazon gift card. And on Saturday night, head over to Brother Willie's Pub at 9 p.m. to hear Carlos Andres Gomez speak about diversity, inclusion, and love. The event is free and open to all students and staff. Now we go to Brandon Oxley in the studio to hear about Johnny Benny Sports. Brandon, how are we shaping up this week? Well, everything seems to be ship shape. Welcome back to Johnny Benny Sports. Johnny Basketball is on a roll, having won all their games over break. Most recent coming in St. Olaf by a score of 87 to 60. With the recent success, they have been bumped up to number 8 in the most recent national polls. Next up is an away matchup against Carleton on Saturday, January 19th. CSB basketball has found their groove only losing one game during break. On Wednesday, they came away with an impressive team win against St. Kate's 64 to 49, with four of the five starters reaching double digits in points by the final buzzer. The next game is a visit to Carleton on Saturday, January 19th. The SJU wrestling team was victorious at the Elmhurst Al Hank Invitational. Nine wrestlers placed along with two first place finishers. They hit the mats again tonight at 7 p.m. in Saxon Arena and will be hosting Northern State University. CSB hockey fell in their two game stand with Bethel, losing the first 5-3 and the second 2-1. Trying to get back on track, they will have two neutral site games in Alexandria against Concordia. The first being tonight at 7 and Saturday, January 19th at 3 p.m. SJU also took a loss in their last game, 4-1 against University of Wisconsin Stevens Point. They have a road trip, they have a road trip for back-to-back -back games in Moorhead against Concordia. The first is tonight at 7 and the second is Saturday, January 19th at 2 p.m. That's all for sports. Now we go back to the desk. Thanks, Brandon. That's all we have for this week. Thank you for joining us on Johnny Benny Campus News. I'm Denisha Demerit. And I'm Michael Pineda. Be sure to join us next week to stay up to date with what's going on around campus. Thank you.